Welcome back, everyone, to more Fallout 3, where everything just works. Alright, so I got me a new version of OBS that looks way different, but it's still the same OBS, just different. Saw you earn your ticket uptown. The down Don't start thinking that makes you special. You're still just meat. You just got moved up to a higher grade of sausage, is all. Oh, that's real appetizing. Hey, it's not pretty, but it's the truth. We're all just meat in the grinder out here. Today's hot shot is tomorrow's trog chow. Nothing to it but to be the best and eat our fill before we're next on the plate. Work hard, and you might just be a grade A cut like me. Okay, let's chill. I got enough bolts around here for you to be doing that. You got something to say, or you just here to stare at the freak? Uh, not at all. So my best friends are ghouls. So Carol. Ghoul? Who are you calling a ghoul? Get lost before I dump you in the river. What? What's up? Get out of my face. I think there was a no-win situation in that conversation, so... Looking good, Noby. Yeah, you know, my pre-war Chinese stealth suit does look good. Oh, that's where we're going. Okay. You quit shooting that rifle up there for crying out loud. Oh, it's just water. I was like, what did I get into? What happened? I don't even know who this Asher dude is. Sounds like he's a douchebag. Just sits on his butt all day long, doesn't do anything. Oh, this is where I came out at. So that's her living quarters. Okay. Yeah, I think we're going to be using infiltrators for probably the remainder of the game because they're just that freaking good. Got over here. I mean, you might as well explore. Quite easy. Thank you. 
What's the matter, bud? Speedy's hunting a fly that got in the house. I don't know why they came to the house, because my house is clean. This is just that time of the year. It's getting colder out, so they're wanting to start coming into everybody's house. Ooh, bet. Any quantums in the fridge? Or just nuke goals? Pick them up. Pick up 10, I get a quantum. And with the diet that I've been on, I cannot drink any more sodas. I'm completely swearing off of them. Even I had one this week, but that's because I was out with my boss. And went out to lunch, and was like, yeah, I'm not going to be weird. So I probably could have just got something like a lemonade or something. It's like, yeah, just screw it, I'll get a Coke. <laughs> I needed the caffeine anyways so I could stay out of it. I was driving in the middle of the city. Crazies with no driver's license. No insurance. Soda. What kind of a jip is this? Stim pack. Stim pack. Carries that many leaf blowers around in a uh, apartment building. Yeah, I'm old Lincoln with Peter Ammo. Yeah, I like the infiltrator because it's got that silencer on it. That just kind of makes up for its. Bit of lack of accuracy, but still good. Somebody had a still in here. Oh, I didn't see his bug. Is all of them? It is. going. All right. What 
Who's that one with the sleeping people here? Yeah. Let's do that. Right away. Buff out. Nice. Definitely take those. Oh, this was a Chinese operative. Oh, it looks much more where it should be. Okay. <laughs> Good deal. If there are more in here. Gotta watch when I'm shooting. There's a gas leak. Weapons. Those are frags. There they are. I'm all right. Don't get to use them very often, so I wanted to use it once. Whatever kind of disease they got going on right in here, it sure as heck ain't playing around. done in here. Well, well, well. Hey, if it ain't the champion of the hole. It was a hell of a show you put on down there. Thank Good you. thing, too. Otherwise, I was going to start shooting down there myself just to keep things interesting. Oh, um, 
Well, glad I kept you entertained then. That worked out well for all of us, didn't it? And don't worry, I'm sure I'll find some excuse to take a pot shot at you later. So we can all look forward to that. Um. Go kill her now. <laughs> See if there's anything else like a loot from bullets and such. Look at the guns on you, huh? Okay, so what is this over here before we go into the main area? Let's just explore a little bit more. Power plant, huh? This is weird. This is very, very weird. Okay. Something for you. No, we'll sneak past you though. Yeah, I guess I don't need to sneak. Boy. Yeah, you can make your biscuits down, Speedy. I, I clipped your claws today, so it doesn't hurt me anymore. You look too damn friendly for your own good. Well, I'm not from here, so...
not interested. Lord Ash will be right with you. Feel free to wait inside. Chatter between slaves. Workers. What? We call them workers. Helps with morale. Reminds them that they might earn their freedom someday. Whatever we call them, they've been gathering makeshift weapons. All right, all right. Put your guards on alert. Tell them to be on the lookout for anyone loitering too long downtown. And keep a watch on all times. Anything big happens, it's bound to go to her. Now, I've got a very important meeting with our new friend. So if anything big comes up, you can be as good as me. Quick, why is distracted? Loot the place. <laughs> Get some backstory in this guy. I don't care about karma. Let's do anything in this game. Test one, two. Looks like this thing is on. Marie, if you're there, this is your father speaking. Ishmael Asher. Sometimes called Lord of the Pit. Now I hope you're hearing this ten years from now. Sitting on my knees safe and sound. Right about now. I bet I'm looking pretty silly. But things don't always work out the way we'd like. There are a lot of risks, including what your mother would do if she heard me talking like this. And I'm not about to risk leaving you alone without knowing where you came from. These tapes are for you, so you can know who your father really was. Marie, the first thing you need to know is that I wasn't always the Lord of the Pit. Long before I was a king, I was a scholar and a soldier. In fact, I was in the Brotherhood of Steel. You've probably heard about them, but you may not have heard what we did to the city. The Scourge. When we came here, the pit was just a breeding ground for trogs, cannibals, and worse. The commander had us torch the place and take what we could. The pit had useful technology, but it was suicide to stay here. So when an explosion left me buried in the mill, my brothers were sure I was dead. I don't blame them for leaving. I probably would have. We thought nothing could live in the pit. We were wrong. Marie, you know those fights in the mill's arena? Well, its first fight was when I woke up to someone pulling me out from a pile of rubble. At first, I thought it was my brothers pulling me to safety. Instead, it was a scavenger trying to steal my armor. She didn't get it. But I learned she had a whole family of scavengers. They'd make raids into the city for gear from the mill. And that gave me an idea. This was the only working steel mill we'd ever seen world of leftovers it was a chance to build again and that was worth any price the scavengers saw me as a god so along with my brotherhood know-how it was easy to set up the basics we started to build a city as word of a new settlement got out the city started growing and fast when raiders attacked kill the leader and recruit the rest I had to the city's disease meant we couldn't have children, so recruiting was the only way to grow. And as we grew, the mill needed more workers. And yes, that meant recruiting workers by force. 
I'm not proud of it. But it's the only way to keep the city supplied and armed. But it was always a temporary solution. Until our best scientists found a way to cure the city's epidemic. Sandra and I worked on it day and night. And after one particularly late night of work, we were blessed with the cure. It's the cure inside you, Marie. Even now, we're doing everything we can to figure out how to share your gift with the city. We're keeping you safe, of course. So by the time you're old enough to hear this, you're already a hero. Congratulations, Marie. You've already saved us all. I knew you would. So see, he has a complicated backstory. He really does. On one hand, he does good work. On the other hand, he's kind of a dick. Okay, he's not homing in on me. Now, he's old school brotherhood. He ain't gonna fool around. That was a Fallout 2 reference. Actually, it may be even Fallout 1. From the original games, if you got like heavy radiation and kept it for a while, you would get a perk where it says uh, you just have an extra toe. It doesn't do anything, but you just have an extra toe. <laughs> City, city, say. I can't really talk now. Isn't my husband waiting to see you? Well, I've got the cure research, so whatever stupid crap happens, there we go. Nice work in the hole, New Blood. Knew you couldn't be one of our normal workers. So that begs the question who are you? And what are you doing in my city? Yeah, it's kind of complicated. I understand. We've all got a past. And damn few of us have reason to be proud of it. That's, That's all behind you the skull. In the pit, you'll be part of a growing army, a thriving industry, and maybe even witness to a cure for radiation. But we aren't perfect, and sometimes the past comes back to haunt us. Tell me, do you know a man named Werner? Do this one. And you know he's not to be trusted. 
He escaped after a failed coup, and I believe he's working with the slaves to plan a revolt. You know the slaves, and you've met Werner, so you're in a prime position to put an end to him. Do that, and I'll make you a lieutenant in my army. So, already there's a red flag. He said, we don't call them slaves, we call them workers, and now he's calling them slaves. That's a red flag. Ah, of course. Would these plans happen to involve stealing a precious little something from me? Don't look so surprised. Your arrival was too convenient. And even if you never met Werner, I'm sure he got someone to make you an offer. It's okay. I get a lot of people trying to betray me. Part of the position, really. You can be honest with me. Yeah, that's a bit of one. Easy enough. You could say no because he lied to you. My discovery is a miracle, but it isn't the type that sets slaves free. Now it would do a lot more good if you were to. Lord Asher, the slaves are rioting. And so Don't let me them. keep you. We need you out here. And Don't fast. let me keep. Damn it! I'm on my way. I suggest you forget Werner's offer and consider mine. Stop Werner. You'll have a bright future in the pit. Don't disappoint me, Blood. <sighs> See, this isn't an easy one because even in his memoirs there, he is Brotherhood. He's old school Brotherhood. Um, which means he's more neutral than anything. He does want to mass produce this cure, which could also cure radiation. Now, the way he's going about it, though, is pretty crummy. But he has to keep these raiders, which are basically just enforcers and soldiers and defenders of this place, from trogs and all that, stable by, you know, letting them kind of do stupid things that even I'm sure he's not proud of. Wait, what? Oh, now is where I can go talk to what's her face on the line over here. Oh, I wasn't expecting Asher to let you into the lab. I'm Sandra, and if I know my husband, he's already made you an offer to join us, right? So you're here to see our little miracle, aren't you? This is my daughter Marie. She can be a handful, but my little angel is going to save the city. Is your daughter in your lab? Actually, it's a combination lab and nursery. Little Marie needs a lot of attention and care if she's going to cure the city. We have a natural transferable immunity of some sort. Well, this is a nice surprise. Apparently, you and Asher are the only other people who know anything about science in this place. Yes, it seems that our daughter was born with a naturally acquired immunity to any form of mutation. It's nothing short of a miracle, honestly. I'm still trying to figure out why, but she may just hold the key to stopping the pit's trog problem. Hell, maybe other types of mutations, too. Uh, you're not hurt her, are you? Oh no, these tests are perfectly safe. In fact, between the crib and her uncanny health, she's probably the safest child in the world. Asher and I would never risk her health. And if that means it takes longer to develop a full cure, then, well, everyone else can wait. Well, what can I do to help? You're a dear, but things are well in hand here. If you really want to help, you should probably go deal with whatever had Asher rushing off in such a hurry. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got to take care of one last test before Marie's nap time. Sense. I 
do still have the cure research. What's wrong with you guys? to see another mean bastard in the pit. Hungry? Well, if it isn't Ashes, him and his keen eyes must see something special in you, so Lulu's going to keep her eyes on you, too. The Lord of the Pit knows all, and his eyes see promise where others see rubble. What does he see in you? A cure? A scourge? Or maybe nothing more than a plaything. Soon, Lulu will see what lies inside you. But first, perhaps Asher's pet needs to be fed. Oh, that's food. Then he. Oh, she even just like noodles, like good stuff. I still don't want it, but. Okay, we need to stop this video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.